What's up guys? SS Joe Ducati Boy here. Finally got this figure I've been wanting for a long time. 1-6 scale. Goggle 13 by 3R. This thing is awesome. So, give you guys a quick review on them. And you guys make up your minds if it might be something you're interested or not. But, I'm definitely happy with it. So, we'll start off with the packaging. Well guys, the packaging, definitely different than Hot Toys, but definitely liking this really nice box. We got right there, his name, and up top, we got the company that made him. Really nice, it's all smooth, kind of like a matte finish, and it's like, it's really thick cardboard, really nice. So on the sides here, Got another picture of him just walking with his briefcase, which holds uh, the gun. Really nice, really impressed with that briefcase and the gun. On the back, just another picture. And a little bit of info on the back, on the company, and the licensing for his watches and other stuff. And the other side, just another picture. Let me show you the cool part. It's got magnets on both sides. So, folds open. You got another picture of him on the side there. And, of course, you got the clamshell going on there. But the cool part is, the whole... Hold on a second. Bear with me for one second. Take the box away, and... This is technically the front cover and the whole thing comes off real nicely like I said the magnets on the sides and you got this cool backdrop going on a little diorama you could keep if you want I really like it and then on the inside you get this other nicely laminated photo and on the back of it, he's got the instructions, both in English and Asian. Just showing you a couple of things. You should heat up the head if you're going to take it off. And removing the hands. That's pretty much it. Really nice though. I like it because if you want, you could use this in your detox or something or the background. Alright, so let's check out accessories. Alright dudes, accessories, eh, you get a decent amount, I'm happy with it, I mean the figure is only a hundred and something dollars, I forgot the actual price, it's like a hundred and sixty somewhere around there, not too expensive compared to Hot Toys. So you get a really nice base and it's made of some like heavy thick tin or metal and so is the nameplate, the nameplate pops off and of course you get the crotch holder when you do go to attach it luckily I noticed it's got threads on it so if there's a little hole don't just punch it in turn it clockwise like everything that threads on well not everything but most things so it's got a nice base and it looks like it's spray painted with a matte black it almost feels really like satiny it's a nice finish so he comes with a total of what six hands he's got these are the ones he comes with he's got that relaxed one that's in his pocket and this semi relaxed one right there then he's got those nice two trigger hands right there and these two hands I was surprised these are those that you could actually fold and put into whatever position you want got some cool details on them you can see the holes in the back because they're they got the wire inside but still nice I like them the paint apps of course they're not hot toys quality but they're still nice so you get those six hands there 
and you get a total of three different watches which are nice rubber got some cool little details on them let's see if I can get the stupid camera to focus come on focus so you can see the watches are nicely detailed just pop the hands off and slide the watches on really cool I'm happy with it so other than that of course all right bear with me for one second my favorite accessory of course is his gun this the case for the gun is heavy it's made of some die cast or some kind of metal the handle functional it's also like his stand it's sprayed it gets real dusty easily it's painted like a nice matte finish and these little things right here you can see they're functional these little just pull this back you can see the spring right in there let go of this and it pops right out so you got two of them there and it's just great really cool little detail and of course you open it up got this nice cushiness right there for the gun got the magazine clip there the scope the gun you gotta put together so really neat I'm definitely I, I, I was not expecting this so it's cool really cool detailing this is nice and soft like a real one would be to take it out I advise you to just pull the whole thing out it's a lot easier than trying to pull on these things you might break it so that's pretty much it for accessories guys let's take a look at this figure alright guys here he is Duke let me start off with the gun real quick I want to show you some cool little details on the gun and there it is out of the, the case really nice so much like Hot Toys you know, you could take out the magazine, and you could see the little detail on the bullets there. Pretty nice. As for the gun itself, the scope just slides on. You can see right there the bottoms of it just slides. Just to take it off, just slide it towards the front of the gun. Got a couple moving parts. This piece back here as well as this piece right here slides forward if you want when you take the scope off You've got these cool little detailings these plastic bits on the front of the lenses to make it look you know semi real We've got some nice little details the trigger that's where you slide in the magazine We've got the part here where I'm guessing the bullets would fly out of I don't know anything about guns so forgive me about that so pretty neat little detailing this piece right here if you wanted to put a strap on it and here's the other side get some cool little detailings like I said really impressed with this figure I've been wanting it I believe actually I think another company made him a while back. The Japanese company that we all know, Medicom. I believe they made him. And then I checked on Big Bad Toy Store a few months ago and I saw he was up for pre order. And this figure means so much to me because I'm huge into Japanese anime. And he just blew me away. You got his first one right there the professional goggle 13 you got the other one called the queen bee he's just he barely talks he's just a man of action the guy he's just an assassin always gets his fucking target even when he's banging a girl in the in the cartoons he just sits there and lets her ride him and shit he's just he's the man it's just an amazing anime. You guys have to check it out. The closest thing I could compare him to is, of course, this amazing bastard right here, Leon. We all know him. 
Natalie Portman, that movie that he made that was just unbelievable. So this was pretty much like the closest thing I could compare it to just two insanely amazing assassins. Now the pain apps on him, he is based on an anime, so you know there's no real human like skin applications on him, but you can see the details are cool. They did the hair right, the eyes, everything. It's just gorgeous. The cut and sew is pretty cool. I'm happy with the suit. It fits him real nice. Definitely, definitely happy with it. Now, forgive me guys, I did forget one extra accessory. And I'll show it to you right now. My dumbass put it aside. And that is his trench coat, which is beautiful. This is so beautiful. The materials on this, I don't know what they use, but it feels so soft, like suede. Got nice lining in there. Really cool. Got the belt. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. Look at the, the stitching, the little buttons, the real pockets. It's just really cool this this dude is badass love this dude so I'll definitely have him in uh in that trench coat sooner or later but really impressed with him he looks awesome the tie is nice the undershirt he just looks great in the suit that's one thing I loved about him in the movies he's always dressed nicely one thing about him, this outfit and the paint on the base, just huge dust magnets. Look at that, I've had him out for a few minutes. You can see all the fucking dust collecting already. But the shoes, nice and shiny, real laces. I'll show you the bottoms later, but he does have his nice black socks going on there, real neat. Hands are real nice, nicely stitched. You know, not not a ton of stuff to show on him. You know, he's just a guy in a suit. But to me, I had to have him. Even nice details on the bottom of the shoes. Let me see real quick if I could get. Let's turn him around here. You can see right there. They went all the way to the bottom of the shoes. Really cool. Articulation on him is great, you know, because he's not hindered by any metal parts on him like Iron Man would be or something like that, you know. He's just a dude in a suit, so you can pretty much get any pose you want out of him. Love those fucking land chops on him. Love the backdrop. Definitely stoked to have this dude. probably gonna pop in the DVD after this so that's pretty much it on Duke here he's gonna look cool pose next to my other assassin Leon if you guys are into these animes I definitely suggest picking this bad boy up happy for the with the price of him happy with the outcome of the figure so if I were you, I'd pick him up if you're into him because I'm sure the prices are going to go up and up like they all do. Okay guys, nothing much more I could show you on him. So I'm out of here. I'll see if I can get a pose or two out of him at the end of the vid. And I'll see you guys on the next review. SS out.